things we know to be true. Number one, corruption is rampant. Number two, the price of AMC isn't real. Number three, there are most likely over 12 billion synthetics. Number four, the market is being held together with a band-aid. Number five, a MOAS is coming. And when it happens, the price of AMC could break 20K or above on its way up. How many movies did you guys go to in October? Comment down below and answer honestly. I want to know. But theaters are recession proof because they are cheap entertainment and people like to get out of the house. Sure, there's awesome streaming platforms out there, but people want to get out of the house and they want to have an experience. Watching a movie in your house, no offense to anyone's houses, but it's not the same as going to an AMC multi million dollar theater. People need entertainment. If anything, people will cut their streaming services before they will stop going to movie theaters. I totally agree with that. What would you guys rather do if you could only choose one? Enjoy a movie at the theaters or enjoy a movie in your house? Combine the total of 1.1 billion in penalties again. Penalties. No actual change yet. It's coming for them though. Apes together strong. So we have a tweet from Unusual Wales that says breaking the SEC announced charges against 10 Wall Street firms for widespread and long-standing failures to maintain and preserve electronic communications. The firm agreed to pay combined penalties of more than 1.1 billion. Lists include MS, GS, CS, C, and much more below. So I don't know about you guys, but this makes me sick. The fact that these are the names that agreed to pay $125 million each. These are the names, guys. These are big, big corporations. These are banks that we use, that our family uses, that you know our friends probably bank with indirectly or directly. It makes me really sad that these are the companies that are getting caught for doing these things. These are the companies that are doing things that are not by the books. They're playing in the gray area. And that really, really disappoints me. Remember what the goal is. They short AMC to a point that the only way to win was AMC to go bankrupt. That's not going to happen, guys. Sorry, hedge funds. Has the squeeze taken longer than we hoped? Sure. Is that okay? Of course, yes. It'll just feel better when it happens. AMC stays alive. We moon. Simple. AMC money-making brainstorm thread. I am one that believes we need several quarters of net positive quarters to show the short thesis is squash. Well, in my opinion, I feel like the short thesis has been squash, but let's read on. I'm not here to spread FUD, but HYMC and NCMI aren't doing it for us at the moment. I believe that AMCs with proper real estate should look into solar farming on their robes of unused parking lot space, the taxes, etc., etc. So comment down below if you guys have any other money-making ideas for AMC as a company, as a holding company, because remember... AMC is not just a simple movie theater chain. AMC owns multiple assets across different categories, different sectors. Comment down below what you think AMC should do with some of the major, major money that Adam Aaron and the team still have stashed away.